Hey guys, Tajon here. I am back with some more SFM content. I've been asked to make a hat painting tutorial, and um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so SFM, if you don't know, is Source Filmmaker, a Valve created, um, I guess, 3D modeling and animation program using pretty much any models you can put into uh, games like Team Fortress 2, Gary's Mod, Half-Life 2, um, etc. So as soon as you open it up, if you don't already know, know the basics, I recommend going on YouTube or Google and uh, you know searching for SFM tutorials. Right now I'm going to go into a more specific branch of SFM and that is hat painting. Um, this applies for some misks, so miscellaneous items as well. Um, and yeah, just you can use this for most hats in SFM. Um, there are some exceptions uh, where you might have to go into a little bit more detail in painting the hat, but the tutorial kind of uh, spiel I'm going to give you right now is going to be the basic how-to for painting most hats in SFM. Alright, so first of all you want to go and YouTube face punch. Um, I think SFM paint tutorial. Something like that, anyway. Then you should get something like uh, TUT painting hats from within SFM on facepunch.com. It should be the first link on Google. Um, there's a video here showing you exactly how to do it for uh, various hats, um, but that's not really important. What's really important is that you click on this my cheap proxy import file and that uh, gives you a file called hat proxy. Hello. Um, for SFM shots hmm. uh, let's see sorry um, just responding how much is it for an SFM shot, do you think? How about that? Alright, so um, we're in SFM, let's get a model up. Let's just try the Spy for now. Uh, one of my favorite classes, if not my favorite class, if you don't already know. Let's go into the timeline, click on the yellow button. Go into work camera and um, there we go. Let's click on the spy up here and then there's a little blue box. Click on that, move it around, hold shift, move it around, um, putting it on the orange stage. Let's switch cameras to camera one. Click on the screen and hold the left mouse click button. Uh, use the scroll wheel to zoom in. And we have a nice shot of the spy. Alright, so first of all, the spy looks kind of bland right now. Let's just change that. <laughs> um, let's see, what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, how about that? How about that? Let's change his eyes a little bit. So he's staring right into your soul. Um, anyways, I'm not going to keep that. <laughs> there we go. That's the face that I want. Um, so after you download this cheap proxy import file uh, called Hat Proxy, I just put it on my desktop, I think. Um, oh, by the way, right click here. Click, like, just right click anywhere in the square. Render settings, progressive refinement, ambient yeah, inclusion off, just to make it easier to use. Uh, less laggy. Uh, back to this. So had proxy. Um, I'll get to that in the moment. Moment. Uh, first of all, we need a hat. So let's just search spy. Uh, click on the plus add item, and then um, let's see a hat. A hat. A paintable hat. I'm trying to think. Uh, the Bill's hat, unfortunately, is one of the hats that's. Um, a bit bugged in SFM, in my 
in my experience. And I don't actually have the paintable version of it. I'm, I think there's like a download where uh, there's a paintable version of it um, somewhere on websites like sfmbox.com or something, but I do not have that just because I've been ever really been asked to paint a bill set except a couple times and um, yeah like I don't really do those requests just because it's kind of a pain painting some hats to be honest let's just get um, I'm the Charmer's Chapeau that's a nice hat so let's click on two plus signs another two plus signs find spy body BIP head um, tra spy charmer ship ho one body BIP head. Go or click on the BIP head of the spy. Put it on the charmer ship ho. Sorry if this is um, a bit boring or tedious for you. By the way, if you're new how to do this, I'm just doing this just in case there are people who do not know how to do this. I'm just gonna readjust this. The hat. So it looks like that. I'm gonna turn my settings back up because actually that's all I really need to use let's go with 128 samples and then let's change the spy's eyes so he's still looking at us um, there we go The chapeau is kind of weird right now, but that's all. That's all right. Um, let's just go on to painting it. So first of all, after you have your hat proxy on your desktop or some other location where it works for you, you want to go to your hat, right-click on it, go to Show an Element Viewer Model. Now you want to right-click on the green text that you see, and I believe you click on Add Attribute Element Array. Now I forgot if it's Material or materials, but I, I'm pretty sure it's materials. I always get this mixed up. Um, you want to add the element array, array and you want to name it materials. And uh, right click on materials, import element, and you want to find the hat proxy that you downloaded. So there you go. Hat proxy. Um, and now Charmer Chapeau. You you have a few boxes here that it gives you material name, the name of the proxy material, um, other factors, color tint base. This is what paint color it will be. What you want to focus on right now is copying the model name and then going to this over here, mo uh, material name, and place the material right here. Now you'll notice if you click enter, sometimes it won't work. It, the, that MDL sometimes gets in the way, right? In this case, it doesn't. But you usually want to remove the .mdl, just in case. So now you can see the hat is black. Now if we want to change it, we can adjust these numbers down here. So the leftmost number is how red it will be. The middle number is how green it will be. And then the rightmost number is how blue it will be. So on this website as well, there's a color spreadsheet telling you exactly what numbers you will need to use in order to get a paint color of your um, desire. So let's just go with mint. There we go. But let's just say um, I had a blue spy. So let's right click on our spy and set a skin to 1. And then let's just say I didn't paint it already. I wanted to set the skin to blue, but now I want to paint it. So this is kind of a problem because now after you change the skin, it actually changes what material, the material name that it uses. In this case, I believe it's either two or blue. Um, two, that didn't work. How about blue? There we go. So usually I have to add something at the very end. Um, if you're unsure what to add, you want to right click on the hat, click on show game model and explore, and then there's going to be a pretty lengthy list of all the different hats. You want to click on the non-VTX, non-P, 
PHY link. Um, I don't know about this, the VVD. I've never. Oh, you definitely don't want to click on that. You want to click on the MDL file right here, of the hat. And here, you'll see a lot of junk, but also at the very end, you usually see the material names. So in this case, models, player, items, spy, spy, drama, chapeau is the red one, and the chapeau blue is what you want to replace this with. Now in this case, you can just add the underscore blue, but in other cases, there's going to be like underscore two or underscore etc. Just to demonstrate this, um, I'm trying to think of something that is like that. I think uh, all classes items are usually usually like that. Um, let's let's just go with the nano. The the nano balakava or however you pronounce it is it used to be intended as an all class item. Therefore, the all class attached to it. So this may may or may not work. Um, so first of all, we want to try to do the same thing. Right click, add attribute, element array, and call this materials. Always remember the S. Import element hat proxy. Now let's try this method again. I want to see if it works. Nope, it didn't work. Uh, let's try to delete the DL. Still no, no effect. So we want to go game model. DX bell tower spy. And then you can see um, just a ton of stuff. I believe the one we want is this one. So uh, underscore visor. I believe is the one we want. So let's just copy that, paste it, and there we go. Sweet. You can make it white or whatever color we want. All right. So that pretty much covers it for head painting and SFM. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't really know what else to say. Uh, if you have any other specific questions or comments, feel free to message me on Steam and then I'll gladly reply Bye, and uh, try to see if we can work anything out. I think I'm going to... Yeah. Don't mind me. Um, okay, so extra little snippet. Green screen. Um, there's a bunch of green screens that you can download on websites like SFMbox or Garry'sMod.org. Um, for Garry'sMod.org, you need to actually own Garry's Mod in order to download anything. But for something like SFMbox, I'm pretty sure you can just use whatever. So SFMbox, there's just a ton of stuff. You can see COD, um, Call of Duty models, Warcraft models, Left 4 Dead, Deadpool model, uh, etc. It's just really, really neat stuff. Staff picks. Iron Man, Master Chief, Pokemon, uh, Elizabeth from um, Bioshock. Not suited for work. I kind of want to click on that, but I'll save that for later, and not on the stream. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, that is pretty much it. Green screen. Let's see what I can do with this. Boom. And there we go. Pretty self-explanatory. It's a green screen used to change your background. Um, yep, 
Yep, well that pretty much does it for my hat painting tutorial and little snippet of green screen. Hope you liked it and hope you got something something from it because um I don't know. I feel like I have to make one of these every few weeks to every few months. Uh, so I think I'm going to save this one this time and hopefully it's good enough to the point where people won't get even more confused and it, it'll work out for everybody. Alright, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.